fellow adventurers to our little spot on the internet. Join us as we explore our world. Follow along as we share our adventures on the roads less traveled. A truck, a trailer, and we three. Come along. Here we are on a solo mission. Um, it's the fifth, sixth, fifth, sixth. It's the sixth, Thursday the sixth uh, of January, 2022. And we're on our way to Cape Canaveral to watch the first um, Starlink launch of 2022. And um, hoping that they get enough Starlinks up there that I'll soon be able to use my Starlink for um, mobile RVing. Um, the big thing is about data and how the data is transmitted from the ground stations to each one of the satellites. Um, there have been a lot of people complaining about the dropout and the inconsistency of Starlink in the uh, receivers. Um, I'm a original beta tester um, and even the Gen 2 people are complaining but the network's still faster than anything they have anywhere else and we're hoping as RVers um, a whole bunch of people are hoping as RVers to make it so that we can um, have high-speed internet anywhere we go in the United States so that's what we're hoping for and this launch I think they're dubbing it 4-5 um, it's gonna help out with that problem these are all 1.5 or 2.0 um, satellites that they're um, launching there's over 1,900 of them now in space, and they were launching 60 of the um, satellites for the uh, 1.0 version, but because the weight is a little bit bigger, <laughs> because the weight's a little bit heavier, that is, um, they're not launching as many. So I think they're gonna be doing 53 satellites. Um, we'll find out more when we get there. But like I said, we're on our way to Cape Canaveral um, to watch watch the launch so we'll talk to you in a bit well here we are it's about an hour before launch the uh, launch is 1649 449 local in Florida time and I'm gonna get up and set out the Starlink and connect I actually have a service here but it'll be kind of cool and uh, hang out and show you some of the cool things here in just a little bit so we're here and we'll be getting set up momentarily. The uh, launch is actually on here delayed about 10 seconds, so. Right. Venting stop, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, anytime baby. Pitching towards us. <laughs> if 
That's so cool. It's coming right at us. Unlike most normal launches going towards Africa, this one's headed down towards the Bahamas. And the first stage is gonna land on the barge out in the Bahamas, just to the west of Jamaica. So when do you think it's gonna leave the second, first stage? Uh, Miko is usually about a minute, minute and a half, two minutes after takeoff, and here comes your sound. Feel it? You see the stage actually drop off? Um, yeah. This is when you'll see the stage and it's pretty trippy. So now it's downrange and it's actually pitching up to gain altitude. So it had to go out a first a certain distance before it could actually go up uh, because this is such a unique flight path for this rocket. So now you see you can't see it at all, but it's still going to continue up. And so if you're listening to the feed, it should tell you when Miko comes up, main engine cutoff. And you can still see it, so when you see the main engine cut off and the RVAC comes on, you'll actually be able to see the engine light up. 